Hi guys, my name is Shahida Ali and I am a Team Singapore Paralympic Archer. I am also from the Singapore Disability Sports Council. So during the circuit breaker period, it is very important for us to stay mentally and physically active at home. So today, I will be showing you some of the exercises that you can do at home to help with your stability and coordination. So let's go! Okay, so here's what you need to start your workout. First, you need space to do your workout. You can do it inside your home like a living room or outside your home like a corridor. For these workouts, you will need an exercise mat, water bottle to keep you hydrated, a towel to wipe that sweat, and a chair. Okay, first, hold on to a stable support. Remember to squeeze your stomach or your core. Then raise your left leg and count to five. Then raise your right leg and count to five. When you get stronger, you will realize that you won't rely much on the support. That's what we want. Remember, when you are raising your leg, you have to raise it as high as possible. When you are feeling stronger, that means you are ready for unassisted balance then. It will be the same thing as the last exercise. Remember to brace your core or your stomach, raise your left leg and count to five. Then raise your right leg and count to five. You can also challenge yourself by raising your leg and hold on to more than five. Maybe 10, 15, it's all up to you. The second exercise we will be doing is the assisted squats. You will need a chair or a stool. First, sit on the chair. Now, slowly bring yourself up and then sit back down slowly. Now bring yourself back up again and bring yourself down slowly. You can try doing this for about 6 to 8 times. That is like one set. So when you feel stronger, you can try a different version of the assisted squats. Find a stable support like a chair or a railing. Hold on to it. Get ready to go down slowly and then go back up. You can also feel a tension in your stomach or your core. That is a good thing because this workout strengthen your core. Try doing this for six to eight times. That is one set. Okay, now we will be doing bird dog. So first, make sure that your arms are aligned with your shoulders. 
raise up your right hand and count to three. And then raise up your left hand and count to three. Do the same for your right leg and count to three. Next, do the same for your left leg and count to three. So you can do this for about six to eight times. That is one set. While doing this exercise, remember to squeeze your stomach or your core. That will help you to stabilize yourself when doing this workout. When you feel stronger, you can do this type of bird dog. Squeeze your core or your stomach. Raise your right arm and left leg and count to three. Then raise your left arm and right leg and count to three. You can do this about five times. That's one set. If you feel even stronger, you can either do an extra set or raise and hold for more than 3 counts. Maybe 5, maybe 10, up to you. That is some workout we have today. So remember, if you do feel strong, do the recommended set. If you feel stronger, do an extra set. But remember to rest well and recover well for the next time. So, here's to me. Stay healthy, stay strong and hope to see you after the circuit breaker period ends.